Hi everybody, Cindy here with Pathways Homestead. And if you've been watching, a uh, little over a week ago, I attempted to make butter with my KitchenAid mixer. And it did make butter, but it was so messy. So I checked out lots of videos on YouTube. And the one that I liked the best was Jill Winger's video that she did for Homesteaders of America. Where she used a food processor. And so I'll put a link to that video up here and you guys can check that out and it worked really really well so i'm going to make another batch of butter so you guys can see it today so hide and watch so i've separated a quart of cream off of oh a little over a gallon of milk and um i have this cream ready to go i'm going to pour two cups of it so almost half of it into the food processor. So my food processor has a maximum food line here and a maximum liquid line right here. So I filled it to the maximum liquid line I'm going to put this stomper in there so that it's all sealed up. And I'm going to put it on low and let it whip it up. And eventually the sound will change and it will be butter. All right, this has gone about two minutes and it's whipping cream. Isn't that cool? I'll show you. See, it's come to the consistency of whipping cream. And so I'm going to keep running it. It won't be very much longer and it will be butter. And at two more minutes, we have butter. Four minutes. To make butter that's pretty awesome so I'm gonna get this strained out part of our buttermilk. I'm going to set this here because I've got more to make. I'm going to get this put into a bowl while we run the other part. We've got buttermilk, 
So this is probably more than a quart of cream that we had off there. How yellow that butter is. Isn't that pretty? Right, so this is a cup of ice water. I'm going to rinse our butter and get the buttermilk out. So basically what you're going to do is just pour some of this ice cold water over the top of that butter. And then you're going to use your hands or you can use a spoon. And you're going to wash the butter. This is going to help your butter stick together, cool it down, and it's also going to get the whey or the uh, milk out of it. So um, when you're doing this, you'll see little clumps of butter in the milk, and you're going to want to try to pick those up with your butter. They'll just eventually stick to your butter. But while you're washing your milk, just kind of roll your butter around and pick those up so that you don't wash them down the sink whenever you go to put your milk down the sink. You're going to keep washing this butter with cold water, ice cold water. If you run out of water, just get some more water in your eyes. And let it sit there so it's nice and cold while you rinse this next, rinse a second time. And you're just going to keep rolling this butter around, kind of kneading it in this water and changing the water until the water comes clean. I've been making butter, dividing it into a quarter of a pound, wrapping it in plastic and sticking it in a bag in the refrigerator, in the freezer, so that I can just pull it out when I need it. I caught some butter on sale at Aldi's a while back and bought the limit of six sticks. And so I still have, or sorry, bought the limit of six pounds. And so I still have butter in, and so I'm going to use that store-bought up first, and then I'll start working on my butter that I've got from Freedom. Now we're going to have to dry Freedom off at the right after the first of the year, or maybe even Christmas time. We'll see how things are going, because she's going to have another calf at the end of May towards the first of June. Her due date is May 30th. And we want to make sure that she has plenty of time to um, devote her nutrients to growing that calf and not to making milk for us. So we're going to make lots of products that we can. We will sell some milk, but we're going to make as many products as possible that we can freeze so that we will not be having to buy those products during that time. Um, or as little of those products as possible. Alright, so my water is almost clear. Probably one more rinsing and it'll be good to go. Yeah, it's going to be good to go after this one. Right, see my water is clear, no cloudiness in that water. I'm going to pour it out. I'm going to knead it a few times to get any water that might be in there out. I don't want to knead it too many times because I'll warm it up too much. But I just want to get some of that excess water out, not much. And then I'm going to weigh it and divide it up. So we have 10 ounces of butter from the butter we made today. So I'm going to divide that up in quarters, in quarter pound sticks. So it'll be a, a pound and or half a 
it's a half a pound and two ounces so I'm going to almost three quarters of a pound but not quite I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna just pull off the pieces till it I have four ounces I just kind of roll it out a little bit and make it kind of there we go that would be what you would buy at the store as a stick of butter so we have two and a half sticks of butter <laughs> 